Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In the previous video I landed this lander right here on the surface of Minmus and attempted to drill but couldn't drill. And it seems like people suggest that it is because the drills were too low and so that caused a problem. Though in previous versions that had not been a problem before. It did sort of lift the lander up a bit but usually that wasn't an issue. Now. I don't think that a Kerbal can actually move the drills, but we might as well check while we're here. Uh, otherwise, the solution is to replace this lander with a different one with the drills moved up. We don't have to launch the whole mothership and also add some extra fuel to this. So we will send something with extra fuel uh, so that this can transfer to a better location. And if we disable crossfeed here, I really can't get a very good read on how much delta V we have, unfortunately. Let me see. Uh, well, I sort of believe that. So 933 meters per second is obviously not enough. Uh, it's surprising, though, considering how much of the fuel we still have in here. Of course, this is a very big, very big vessel, but um, we have a lot of fuel, <laughs> so uh, I'm surprised that the nuclear engines don't make better use of it. But anyway, uh, let's uh, get Flong out and see if Flong can do something with those drills or not. I don't think so. All right, can you like? Oh, uh, well, it's not. Oh, oh. Hmm. Not doing a great job attaching it. I'll take that. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, there. So it turns out they can, even though it's so heavy. Oh yeah, that's pretty handy. This engineer mode is way easier than KIS, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> I loved KIS, of course. And it has been a handy thing for a long time, but this is good too. Okay. We've got that one. We'll get the one on the other side. I think we can just shift it up. Okay. Um, when, when we're in movement mode, pressing two here, we can't control the Kerbal very well. Or at all. Okay. It's a little bit off. These are pretty heavy, so if they're off, they could cause problems for our lander. As Flong is moving, it, it changes how the thing is positioned. I expect some imbalance during landing here because of that, but then again, low gravity on Minmus, so could be okay. I think we'll take that for now. Let's try it again. Was it really the drill height, or is there something else wrong? That is our question. Again, it could be that I have to rescan, and that location really does not have any ore at all. Because having changed versions, we need to rescan for resources. But we will check. So, here we go again. Uh, maybe we don't need that much. Well, then again, we used. We used about 120 units. Maybe we can... but And then we have to carry ore back up. So, yeah, maybe we should just keep what we have. We only... use less than expected because we weren't carrying a load back up. Okay, so taking a look at our possible landing sites. We've got something over here. It'd be in the dark, though. Uh, but... Maybe we can wait until uh, Minmus rotates and it comes into the light. Let's see. Well, uh, good enough. <laughs> I'll take it. Otherwise, it'll probably slip by. So, gear down. It's just the flats, so that's easy. We're not looking for extra science this time. We're looking to test out how the drilling works. Okay, well, we'll have to deviate somewhat in order to head towards the flats. 
something more like that. And burn. The cutoff is 60% here, so... If there's ore, there's definitely gotta be ore over here. Okay, uh, it should put us in line with the flat. Continuing our shakedown test of this system. There will be more advanced motherships and drilling units later on, but this is our first go at it. I mean, Flong can adjust the height of the drills right now if it turns out they're too high. So it'll be all right. Okay, landed. Here we go again. Deploy drill. The uh, radiator's out. The uh, drill is not lifting us up here. Start service harvester. Okay, we are, we're getting ore. So it looks like lifting it up worked. Might take some time to get enough ore though. Okay, and it's using electric charge, so I'm going to start a fuel cell. Which will only operate when it gets down to 95% of course. And there it is. If I start production of, well, just liquid fuel, really. We could probably do mob propellant as well, but let's... I don't know if we should, well, we might as well convert to liquid fuel first. I mean, actually, let's just stop the liquid fuel and just top off on ore first and see if we have enough delta V like that. So taking a look at the time, 5.13, we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so we have a full load of ore. We still have plenty of delta V, 1,600 it says. So we can just stop the surface harvester and we'll carry this much up. Oh, did I not start that? Oh yeah, I forgot to start the science lab. <laughs> Getting about that. Okay, we, we need to remember to... Start the science lab. Now these things are overheating. Cooling is increasing after I've retracted the drills. This is that heat bug thing. Hopefully you'll not go too far. Seems to be slowing its climb in numbers, but still climbing. Hmm. Peculiar. Anyway, we probably need to line up with our vessel. So we need to time warp, and that cooling is still going up. During this level of time warp, it goes down. Let's see. But then probably when I come out of time warp, it's going to... Let's see. Yeah, it goes up when I come out of time warp. This needs to be fixed, I think. <laughs> this whole heating thing. And I swear it also in realism overall messes up the the boil off situation. I'm not sure about that, but I suspect it strongly. Okay, so we're going northish. And well we're out of time warp and now the cooling is stabilized at least. So that's all good. And I want surface info. Uh, let's just go for orbit info. All right. Up we go. Heftier right now. Don't want to hit any mountains. Looks like a clear thing. We, well, we can actually see the target there. Okay, let's just point at that. Oh, don't rotate too much. Yeah, considering how hefty it feels lifting off, this would probably do best, as far as drilling for ore, do best on stuff with minimus gravity or less. Which is tough, I mean, well, at least we have a selection of those kinds of bodies in the game. I think we want to go further north, not this much. 
overall, I think we can just pack less liquid fuel. It does depend on which body we're going to be visiting, and sometimes we'll be doing trying to do science stuff, so we won't be lifting off with a full load of ore or anything. The best way to refuel the mothership, though, is by grabbing an asteroid, but that takes a whole... We should have grabbed some asteroids in convenient locations, mostly the jewel system. I mean, do asteroids even appear in the jewel system? We would have to take a interesting trip to move one into the jewel system, but that would be that would be best if we had some asteroid in the jewel system to get fuel from, huh? I mean, of course the moons are pretty close to being asteroids, but still it takes some effort to land on one and come back up. Okay, I think that's probably a good enough catch-up orbit. Is it too good a catch-up orbit? Yeah, we're gonna get up, uh, get ahead of it. Uh, well, we'll just force the issue. Meaning that I'll lift up the periapsis and we'll have some sort of very tangential, not tangential, very tenuous oh, over there. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Not the most efficient way to go. But uh, it will work. At least our reaction wheel control seems good, even with the load of ore. Though SAS doesn't like to stabilize things very often. We are currently 33.71 tons. Yeah, SAS try. Try harder. <laughs> okay. Sometimes. Okay, that should be a good start anyway. And let's bring in all the stuff that might snap off while we're docking. Yeah, somebody had mentioned action groups. I, I mean, I know, I mean, I could just add action groups right now, but I don't know, I like right-clicking things. It's like flicking switches. It's the closest thing to flicking switches that we have in the game. And the more switches I get to flick, the happier I am. It's... It's an old-style plane flying thing. <laughs> so, yeah, basically right-clicking on uh, stuff and, uh, and toggling them is like flicking switches. So it makes me feel like I'm doing space properly, like Apollo-style, with a lot of switches for everything. Action groups take the fun out of it. In fact, if we could just have a switch panel <laughs> with uh, that, that might make things a little bit better. Not, I don't want everything on an action group. I want everything to be like individual, like solo panel one, solo panel two, solo panel three. You know, I thought about making my own switch panel. Uh, in fact, I started off making my own switch panel with flick switches and everything. I still uh, have that equipment. I've got lots of little flick switches ready to go with an Arduino Leo and. If I ever get around to it, Arduino Leo is good because it automatically gets recognized as a direct input device. So that makes it easier. It's basically ready to go as a, as a joystick or, you know, anything with switches and axes. Okay, here we go again. That painful docking that I imposed upon myself. If we need to use the radiators, we'll have to have Flong move those radiators to a side that won't be blocked by the engine pods. Okay. Alright, that's all good. Let's see. Um, let me just lock these tanks so that doesn't fill them up. Hopefully does not fill them up as we try to generate liquid fuel for the rest of the ship. And uh, I think the ship's solar panels should be enough to, and we we're pointing right at the sun, should be enough to supply everything without the fuel cell. Let's see, stop the fuel cell. We're not drilling at the same time. Start liquid fuel. Okay. Nope, it's not quite enough. The electric charge is still diminishing. Let's see. 
but it gets more efficient. Uh, if we if we extend the radiators, it'd probably be even more efficient. But it looks like the electric charge is now recharging, so that's okay. Mm, let me make sure neither of the fuel cells are on. So, okay. Yep, we're doing pretty well on electric charge, actually, even though we're edge on to the sun now. Hmm. We could just rotate the other way. Oh, I keep forgetting the science lab. Come on, science lab, start research. Okay. That is taken care of. We have started research, honestly, really this time. So we haven't topped off the mothership, but it's it's gotten quite a lot more. We've got 1,500 meters per second now. I think we should just uh, go ahead and land the lander again and try and top it off a little bit more. Still don't believe that Delta V. Okay, as much as I hate to have to do it, let me just do the math. <laughs> Just gonna sum up all the liquid fuel. Maybe maybe fuel isn't being cross-fed into into the pods and it's only reading this much? Is that possible? What I get is 59 tons of fuel. Liquid fuel we have right now. And what I get is 4,657 meters per second. <laughs> um I mean, but then the game says this, though. Maybe there isn't cross-feed. What if I lock the fuel here? It doesn't change that. I sure designed this to do more than just barely get to jewel on a full load of fuel, right? That is not what I was trying to go for. So if I pour this stuff out... Oh, those are increasing. Is this going to increase for me? No, it increased that amount, but not this one. I'm confused. Okay, well, better safe than sorry. We'll do another refueling run, and then I want. I really want to send this to Jewel. That's the most useful place for this, I think. And... We're nowhere near the jewel window yet, but we'll just, after we've top, uh, totally top it off, we're going to try and time warp to a jewel transfer window and transfer to jewel and see if my calculation is right or whether the game's calculation is right. But for now, let's try and line back up with our most productive ore spot. If we land at it just when it's getting into daylight, I mean, uh, just right here, even though it's in the dark, then we'll have a full daylight session to get extra electric charge so we don't have to run the fuel cell so much. I only read 606 meters per second now. Oh, because I locked these. I think this will be a good direction. Let's see. Yeah, that's basically what I wanted to do. Off we go. Okay, guaranteed to be over the target location. And retrograde, please. Coming down steeply, unfortunately, but probably not a problem. Tansy at the Great Flats. That's like on the slope, though. Uh, started decelerating too early. Okay, we've landed. All right, and drilling time. Our oxidizer is depleting too quickly, so I'm gonna have to start the ox production here for a bit. For our fuel cell. Why didn't we run out of oxidizer last time? I guess the sun provided a lot more power last time than I thought. Okay, now it's closer to overhead and we should be in better shape. Or not. Wow. 
Yeah, we need a lot more oxidizer this time. Oops. Time-wise, it doesn't take too long. It's just that I wanted to make sure we got it done before we got to the other side of the mothership's orbit, and we definitely did that, so that's okay. We could probably top off on liquid fuel here. We don't need to need to, but I guess while we're here and we have time, we'll extend one drill to keep the ore topped off, and then we'll start converting. Okay, we are pretty close to the orbit now, so I've done all the liquid fuel replenishment I intend to do. And things are overheating. Hopefully they don't go too far. Oh, 99.99%. Let's retract the drill. It's because of the time warping. I didn't go to a really high time warp, so... Yeah, we gotta be cautious about that sort of thing. I hope they don't explode or anything. We'll see. Okay, so we are headed which direction? South. Okay, here we go. Launch. We're heavier than even last time. Probably could have done the Science Junior and stuff, but right now I'm mostly focused on getting as much Delta V as possible for a possible trip to another planet. Uh, that's not too bad right there. Come on, little orange markers. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Um, a little bit closer. Yeah, that's about as good as we get. All right. So it seems like our lander is functional and for now does not need a replacement. So we'll certainly consider upgraded models later on. And again, the question is just the mothership's delta V and where the heck that all is, whether the game is lying to me about it or not. Okay, I think we're gonna end up on the right end of this here. That that right there is pretty good. Okay, slow down. Okay, yep, yeah, still looks good there. Okay, here we go again. All right, and magnetism, please. Pretty fast, actually. Oh, probably too fast. Okay, there we go. And Convertron. Just uh, liquid fuel will do. Okay, so we're almost completely topped off here. That says 1,615, there's this 1,284, and moving that over there doesn't seem to do anything. And if we, if we've uh, got cross feed on those docking ports now, right? Yeah, both docking ports here have cross feed. Uh, sorry, this has all been Minmus refueling trips. Next time we are going to see whether this can transfer over to Jewel. And there's, it's got it's an awkward orbit because it's a pull orbit, but it's not going to take too much to break that. And as long as Minmus is in the right portion of its orbit, namely, uh, as long as it's over over here somewhere, then it's not going to take much to get out of... Really, the 1,615 might be enough to get to Jewel from here. So that's not too bad. But we'll find out next time. So... It looks like our drilling unit is okay, and we're going to proceed and see if we can do other stuff with this mothership. The science is churning, research, researching, and so we're getting science like that. And currently we have 102, but we've got a long way to go to unlock the remaining techs. I think we've got two of the 1,000 ones left or something like that. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.